any kind of creative process, whether you're interacting with raw materials, if you're a physical visual artist, or if you're a performing artist interacting with your own body parts, or if you're a writer interacting with words, or if you're just in a normal human relationship with other people, there's always a kind of conversation that's happening to facilitate the creative process. And in order for that process to be smoother, I would argue that it has to be empathic. Now what I mean by that? There are actually four principles or four qualities or pro processes that are interacting and interrelated in what I call the empathic conversation. And they're respecting, listening, considering, and acting. And I'll go through them one by one. So respecting is a word that's often used in art school in relation to raw materials. And specifically in the case of a uh, class I took in blowing glass. Has anyone blown glass before? Okay. So glass was one of the materials that I've had the most interesting time working with because it was the most different, difficult, and unpredictable material I've ever worked with. And one of the projects we did, I took glass and I took a dictionary and I, I selected a number of verbs and I wanted to apply them to glass one by one. So verbs like to fold, to bend, to roll. And one of the verbs was to tear. Now can you imagine tearing a piece of glass? Now when you take a glass out of the furnace, it comes out molten. So it just keeps on stretching. And if you tear it, it just heals right back up and hides any sign of tear. So it was enormously difficult for me to try and tear glass. But me and my partner went through hoops trying to make it work, and we eventually got to this piece. And I was extremely proud of myself. I was like, hell yeah, I tore some glass. <laughs> so I ran to the critic and said, look at this amazing piece of artwork, I tore glass. And you know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> so the critic looked at me funny, and she said, Slim, I, I, think, I think what you did is you, you tried to make glass look torn as if it were a piece of paper. And I paused for a second and said, you're right, that's exactly what I did. Because the moment I heard the word to tear, I immediately associated with an image of a torn piece of paper. And the entire time, I was simply trying to project that image onto glass. That's all I was trying to do. I never engaged in any kind of conversation with glass. In fact, I blamed it for being difficult, different, and unpredictable. 